Uh, I'm starving. Just a few more hours. Not like the meal back home is gonna help much. Mushrooms, I know, I know. <sighs> of all the places to have a war, it just had to be in barren swamplands. Well, you know, there was a supply wagon a couple weeks back. I managed to filch something. I've been saving it. I think you should have it. Is that a bar of fudge? Oh, I've practically forgotten what fudge tastes like. Go ahead. Take it. Oh, I couldn't possibly. <sighs> How long have you been out here? Three years? And you've always had my back. I don't think I'd be around for one for you. So, enjoy it. You deserve it. Uh, Alright, but only if we share, okay? <laughs> it's just us out here anyways. The next patrol won't be in for a while. And we haven't seen a monster in days. Let's just enjoy the evening. You know, you're right. We should just... <laughs> Something's out there! <clears throat> what do you have to report? Look! On the horizon! My Celestia. What is that? Shifting must have thrown the TARDIS off. Hold on, to me, we're in for a bumpy ride. I don't like this. <laughs> oh, that was a doozy. Uh, let's see, where are we now? Identify yourselves. Miss Who's, do you see what I'm seeing? You mean the crossbow pointing directly at us? No, it's... It's a ginger unicorn! Um... Yes, Doctor, a ginger unicorn who's clearly about to shoot us. Nonsense! He wouldn't shoot at us. Is that right, Gingy? Can I call you Gingy? Monica decline. I reiterate my statement. Identify yourselves, trespassers. Oh, certainly. I'm the Doctor, and this is Derpy. Hello! Uh, now, could you put that silly thing down, yes? State the nature of your arrival. Jeez, he's a bundle of sunshine. A oh, be nice. He's still a ginger corn. <clears throat> uh, well, you see, we didn't mean to trespass, just crashed our magic... <laughs> ...wagon in the wrong place. <laughs> this location is inadequate for recreation. We are in hostile territory. Are you implying that I should agree with your simplified notion? Oh, I see. Then I'll... Yep, uh, move over. I'll handle this. We're really sorry about crashing, mister. We really just got lost. Honest, you know how crazy the wind currents get. We were just testing our wagon. A more logical explanation, but... We're friendly, I promise. Just look me in the eyes and tell me. Do I look like a bad pony? Um... Point acknowledged. <sighs> If you aren't a threat, then I request that you leave immediately. I am working on an important project right now. Oh, no problem at all. Just let me go check on the wagon and we'll be off in a snap. So... You have a lot of cool stuff in here. Did you make it? Mm, an accurate assumption. Um, so... That's a yes? Uh, correct. Ooh... Oh! Ah! What's this thing you're working on now? It's... a thing. Ooh! I love things! How... fascinating. 
Uh, it would be appreciated if you... Bad news, that last excursion seems to have drained her energy for the time. Nothing a little recharge won't help, but that means we'll be here for a few hours. Oh, the bright side, more time to get to know our gingery friends! <sighs> Look, if I promise to watch your wagon, will you leave me alone to work in peace? There is a substantial number of much more interesting ponies to converse with out there. Oh, oh, I see. It's dark out. Late night worker. I get it all right. What are you talking about? It's nearly lunchtime. Lunch at night? Ah, for these inventing types, it's normal. Clearly, you aren't from this region. Just go outside. Well, that certainly piqued my interest. Come on, Miss Who's. Avante. Uh, bye-bye, mister. Thanks for watching our box. <sighs> no gratitude necessary. Mm, thanks anyways. Hmm. Well, when he said go outside, he wasn't kidding. Look at that! The stars are out, and yet everything is as busy as a Saturday market. That's weird. I thought that Unicorn Shack was a bit run down, but the whole town is like that. Hmm, you're right. These aren't houses. These are more like slapped together huts and shacks. I don't think these ponies have been here long, and they don't look like they're expecting to stay either. Well, only one thing to do. What's that? Mingle! If only I had some eggs, maybe we could get a decent meal with them. Give her some pie right now. You know what sounds good right now? Chocolate. Uh, please don't mention chocolate. Wow, it sure is lively. Oh, I'm not sure if that's the right word. Huh? No, it's definitely different. Hear that? Over there. So, have we heard from the patrol yet? Hmm. Nothing. Ah, just what I thought. What is- Shh! I don't think we want to draw attention right now. The best way to take him out is to go right between the eyes. And if I miss? You can't afford to miss. So, when they say between the eyes, what if he has four eyes? Well, there's still an in-between. Are you two done yet? Let's go. Do you notice it now, Derby? Well, I, I- I think so. Every pony's awake, but they seem so... so... Mm -hmm. tired, somehow. Exactly. I'm judging from... 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 Doctor? Oh, yes, yes it is! That symbiosis is a predatory avian of feline the wings of majesty, the pride of Griffin! A Griffin! Dr. Griffin's are... I have to see it up close. Dr. Wee, Griffin's tend to have bad tempers and I really don't think... Wait there, Derby. I'll be right back. <laughs> Hold on. Do you get to the Cloud District very often? Um, what? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. What? Ooh. Can I touch your wings? Um, no, um... What, what, what? I never wanted this. I'm a baker, not a fighter. Just stick with us. You'll be all right. Fifty years, and they still aren't ready. These ponies just aren't cut out for this. Honestly, they shouldn't have to be. General Lionheart! General Lionheart! Yes, Yacht. What is it? It's terrible. Or at least I think it is. I mean, it sounded pretty terrible, or at least concerning, so... Oh, would you stop pacing around? You're a dragon. Show some restraint. Y yes, sir. Uh, sorry, sir. It's just that, according to this report, the, the Northern Outpost hasn't sent any word in over three days. And you're absolutely sure you didn't lose any of their messages? No, sir. If there's one thing I never lose, it's my reports. Uh, we can't afford to take any chances. Sorry, sorry. Ah, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Hello. What? Who are you? Oh, I can't believe it. A griffin up close and... <gasps> a dragon, too? Oh, my day keeps getting better and better. Um, is this a pony I should be aware of? Well, no, I don't think so. Not any pony important, at least. Oh, that could be subjective. He's probably just another refugee. Oh, sure, yes, that. You could say that. <clears throat> well, if you hadn't noticed, I... Just look at that beak and those talons. Clearly you're a carnivore, no doubt, but in society of ponies, that is interesting. How do they feel about that, I wonder? Oh, this is fascinating! Do you eat live prey, or...? 
Look, stranger. If you're going to stay here in Naya's outpost, you're going to have to accept that you'll be living alongside all sorts of races. Get used to it. Just like everyone else. Oh, you said everyone. Haven't heard that in a while. It's actually a relief to hear. I don't have time for this. I am busy. So, gallop along and bother someone else. Oh, oh uh, right. I'll just find another griffin then. Hm. Well, at least he was lively. I'll give it two days before he's just like the rest of us. Now, about that report. Send some scouts out to the northern outpost. If they don't respond by daylight, we may need to relocate. Yes, sir. <sighs> Finally, a little time to myself. These ponies are so weird. Deppy? Deppy! There you are! I told you to wait. Why did you move? Sorry, but a lot of the ponies here keep saying funny things to me. Well, hello there, Bubble Butt. E excuse me! What? Sorry, that one just... What was that about? I told you, ever since you ran off, this keeps happening. Hmm, I see, I see. It must be because you look so healthy and shapely. What? Well, you are. Doctor! What? I, I didn't mean it like that. Well, then what did you mean? Just look around at these ponies and tell me what you notice when you look at them. Surely you've seen it by now. Well, they all seem kind of tired, I guess. A bit sad, like, like they're trying their best to be happy. I don't think I've ever seen a whole town like this before. Exactly. Their demeanor, their health, they're hungry, tired, frightened, but at the same time, they're all trying to keep a fighting spirit. I can taste smoke and metalworks, hear the clash of preparation. The whole condition of this place can only mean one thing. What is it? These ponies are in a war. A war? Where are we, Doctor? The past. Around 500 years or so before your time. Uh, so it's not all pies and pastries, after all. That's what I was trying to tell you before. Equestria hasn't always been a peaceful place, you know. So this is what it's like. It's so... sad. But... but they'll all be okay, right? I don't remember anything in our history about losing a war, so... Don't be too sure, Ditsy dear. What? Uh -huh. What? New faces! Hello, hello! Would you care for a bite to eat? I have delectable delights. Exotic, tasty, and be sure to keep you in I good spirits. Trust me, you won't find anything better than what my cart has to offer right here. Do you smell that? Hey, that does smell pretty good. Mmm, definitely smelling some eastern flair. That's right, and my cart is the only place in this outpost with such quality. My recipes has been passed down my family line for many moons. So, what do you say? I can start you out with a bowl of Shen Tao Yin noodle soup for just 30 bits or perhaps a full course meal for a low price of 80 all at Silver Tongue's Delights What? That's ridiculous! No way! I see, I see Well, suit yourself But really, you won't find a better deal <laughs> Unless you only want to eat mushrooms, of course <laughs> 30 bits for a measly bowl of soup? Who would ever pay that? I'm not quite familiar with your currency, but I'll guess a regularly priced bowl would be, what, maybe 10? Even 10 is still pushing it just a little. <sighs> I bet he can't even sell one thing at that stupid cart. I know I shouldn't, but it's the only good food I've seen in ages. Maybe just one bowl? <sighs> Last time he came around, that's what I thought too. One bowl, and then I couldn't even afford anything for my family. I... I don't care. What else have I got to lose? Hey! One bowl of soup over here? Excellent choice! Coming right up! That will be 30 bits! I don't know what's worse. The fact is, taking advantage of desperate times Oh, the fact we are so hungry we'll pay anything. That's horrible. Oh, war can bring out the best and worst of us. 
Well, I'm not going to sit here and watch these poor ponies being taken advantage of. Come on. Hey, wait a minute. Where are you going? The TARDIS. You have a kitchen, don't you? Well, yes, but... Oh, oh you're brilliant. Who wants some tester mushroom soup? Uh, Who's up for mushroom cupcake? No! Aw, nobody wants my cupcake. I hope we don't bother him. He seemed mad before. Oh no, it's not a problem. Look, he's hard at work. Doesn't that make it worse? No, no. You see, these inventive types get totally invested in their experiments and whatnot. He won't even notice us. Are you sure? Positive. Watch. Hey, ginger corn! There's a panda on the roof! <laughs> See? Not even a flick of the ear. Wow. Come on. Careful with the cart, Doctor. You're gonna drop things everywhere. Oh, then why aren't you pulling it? Because I'm a teen and have bad depth perception, and you're a smart, strong earth pony. That's why. Fascinating. Hey, do you smell that? Mm. It smells like oh, that fresh smells pastries. Good. Food? We have food? <gasps> We're safe. Now, now, oh. don't crowd, make a line, and you'll all get something. There's plenty for every pony. Oh, yes, sir. Every fowl and bull, too. Is that a bit at all? Don't be rude. Just pass out the muffins. Oh, thank you. Thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Oh, this is absolutely amazing. Thank you. Yes! Phew, that's almost all of them. Look how happy every pony is. Well, not every pony. Huh? What do you... Uh-uh, look. Whoa. Hey! Move Watch out of the way. What are you, crazy? Just what do you think you are doing? You two. Oh, us two, yes. Hello. Is there a problem, Mr. Ripoff? How dare you! And it's Silver Tongue! My name is Silver Tongue! <laughs> not that silver if you ask me. Quiet, you! Because of you, no pony has bought for my stand all day! I even dropped the prices! And still not one buyer! You ruined my business! Is that all these poor ponies are to you? Business? No, 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 of course not. They are customers who want good food. They buy, I give good food. Every pony is happy, yes? That's not how it... Doctor, I've got this. Oh, some ponies in trouble. If you really wanted every pony to be happy, then why do you charge so much? I traveled far to bring these recipes here. No merchant in the right mind would come to this dangerous place. No competition, so I charge what I like, and it sells because I have what they want. But that's not really what they want. All they want is some decent food and no worries, to live like normal ponies, to not have to worry about all this. The food might make them happy, but food doesn't last, and then they'll realize their saddlebags are empty all because they spent it all for a tiny little moment of happiness. If you really, really wanted them to be happy, you'd make it easier for them to enjoy those happy moments without making them feel terrible afterwards. Well, I... And another thing, mister. I bet it doesn't make you happy either. If you were happy with having lots of bits, then you wouldn't keep trying to get more. If you were doing well, then why are you so mad now? Because you just want more and more, and it's never, ever going to be enough. Especially when you're taking advantage of ponies for it. But, but that's not... Finally, you said this was a family recipe of yours. Passed down, right? That's right. I'm making a name for my family. Do you really think your great-grandparents would be happy with you using the food they put their hearts into as a way to take advantage of ponies just so you can make more bits? My muffins are a trade secret that my mama taught me, and her mama, and so on. Those muffins are made to warm hearts and bring ponies together because that's what family recipes are all about. So how do you explain yourself now, Mr. Silver? I... 
never thought about it like that. By my grandfather's whinny. Yeah, right. I completely ignored the bat because it meant money. But what good is it really? My family would be ashamed. I have gathered wealth and riches throughout the land as a traveling peddler. Yet, I still want more. I believe I should take my leave and reconsider how I do my business. Thank you, Sir Nightmare. Thank you. The rest of Silver Tongue's delight are now free of charge. Consider it a special closing discount. <laughs> Good luck, Mr. Silver Tongue. And to you as well, you and your brown friend. Debbie Hoot, you are amazing. Making ponies happy is what I do best, Doctor. <laughs> oh, it certainly is. Hey, Rookie, I saw your last fight. You're natural. Oh, thank you, sir. I just, I get so mad when I see those monsters. You'll go far, kid. Just remember what you're fighting for. I, I'll, I'll never forget. That's odd. They seem to be in higher spirits. Yacht, what's all the commotion? That brown pony? The one you shoot? He had a reason to be excited. I mean, he was a little annoying if you ask me, asking such rude questions and all, but, but it was all worth it. What do you mean? That brown pony and a gray pegasus who's with him now, not only did they knock some sense into one of those greedy war profiteers, they're both runners! What? Are you sure? Yeah. Everyone is gathered in the main square. They have lots of muffins and fresh milk too! Impossible! You'd have to be able to teleport or time travel to get something fresh past the Plaguelands. But they did! I got one right here! It's good, too. You should really try. You're losing focus again. Where are they? Uh, oh, right. Uh, General, sorry. Uh, sorry, sir. Follow me. Oh, yes, indeed, and I must say they were rather well behaved. Especially that Steel Rage fellow, who knew Minotaurs like puppets. They're soldiers, not savages, stranger. Oh, no, of course not. I was just saying... <gasps> oh, 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 it's you! <laughs> you mean you're not busy right now? Why didn't you tell me you were a runner? Runner what? But I'm standing. No, no, he means we brought supplies. <laughs> you too. You two brought a lot more than just supplies. Your actions have substantially raised the morale of the soldiers and citizens alike. I can't remember the last time they were this bright. Oh, well, what about you, Mr. Griffin, sir? What kind of muffin would you like? It's Lionheart, and that won't be necessary. But every pony else wanted one. Didn't you say it was good for morale? So what'll it be? A uh, poppy seed. There you go. What was that? How did you sneak by not only the plague lands, but our sentries as well? Well, you see, we have a secret trader's route that we are sworn not to reveal. Don't give me that. We have scouted every corner of what land we have left, both underground and in the air. Nothing gets by us. It's how we've lived this long. Ah, uh, yes. Well, uh, you see, it's uh, rather hard to explain. Stranger, I'm not asking you as a general to a refugee, I'm asking you as one adventurer to another. What? You don't smell of the swamp, yet, you brown one, you smell of blood, the kind that will never be washed clean. We have ventured far, stranger. How I travel doesn't matter. It's the fact that I'm, that we, are here. I suppose you're right. Tell me. What are your names? Well, I'm Ditsy Doo. I like to call her Derpy Hooves, and I'm the doctor. A doctor? What are you doing here then? We need you all at the medical station. Oh, I don't think you understand. Hey! Quit pushing! Uh oh. Sir! We provide all the help we can give. Normally, it's enough, but there's one that's uh, gone strange. 
and we can't figure out what's gone wrong. Well, all the same, I'm not that kind of doctor. Well then, what kind of doctor are you? Well, I'm more of a... You! What? Poor little pony! Lost in a box! <laughs> I don't see why I should bother. What's wrong with him? And you! I had to rip your wings off and eat him right here! What? No, why? What? Too scared, you wretched thing? Or would you rather I play with you first? <laughs> I won't let him touch you, Derpy. He's worse than before. And what about you, General? Thinking you're so big and bad with your so-called army. All high and mighty atop your little perch, my master will show you. He'll show you all. Ah! Restrain him. You'll see. You'll all see the darkness. The darkness comes. It will consume you all. Submit. Submit to the fear. The terror. That's not crazy talk, are you? <sighs> you see now. Can you do anything? I was trying to explain. I'm not that kind of doctor. I'm sorry. I'm more of a researcher, an explorer, rather. Oh, I see. My apologies, then. General Lionheart, a message, sir. Report. Our scouts have re reported a large cluster of enemy heading towards us. They will be on us before the night is out. What? They've never been so bold as to attack us this close. General, if I may, fortune could be in your favor. You have the terrain advantage, no doubt the reason you settled in an elevated land. And what do you know of strategy, Doctor? Well, in my travels, it so happens that I studied the tactics of the great conqueror, na 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 napoleon What? But Napoleon's history and strategies have been lost for decades. How did you get them? I've been looking for any documented scrap of him for years. Oh my goodness, it's really cold now. Anyways, history is my strong point, you see, and I have my ways of discovering things. <laughs> oh, history. That explains the hourglass, cutie mark. Oh, please. I'd love to know more about your travels. How many documents have you read? Have you ever discovered any lost civilizations? Or, or maybe... <clears throat> Yacht, now is not the time. Doctor. If you truly know the tactics of the great Napoleon, then follow. You will be very helpful here. Yacht, order the troops to move. We'll see blood before the dawn. Y yes sir D Doctor? B blood? I'm afraid so. Is this your first battle, boy? On, uh, y yes, ma'am. How old are you, son? Sixteen years old, ma'am. You volunteer or you recruit? I was trained by the best. Volunteer, ma'am. Just like my father before me. And where's your father now? Get out of this one alive. First round's He's on the dead, ma'am. They're all just standing there. The eye of the storm. Things are their calmest before everything goes bad. You've seen this before. More times than I'd like to. And you're sure this will work? All of my finest soldiers are in the center of the battlefield, as you said. How's this going to work? Well, it's quite simple. Keep your center troops slowly backing up when they're behind your lines, have the two side platoons pincer them, and just like that, you got the enemy surrounded. They'll surrender in no time. They won't surrender. We'll have to kill them. But why? They'd surely understand they could win. No pony is that foolish. Do you even realize what we're up against? Well, uh... Um... No, I assumed you were... What was that? General, the scouts report a large variety of monsters. Manticores and singers are making up the bulk of the enemy. Monsters? Monsters. They have no remorse and won't stop until either we're dead or they are. Yacht! Tell the commanders they're on standby. Cavalier is to keep his soldiers backing up. When the enemy has gone far enough, have the scouts signal Wild Helmet and Lightwing. When they get that signal, they will move in and surround the monsters. Yes, sir! I don't think he'll like you calling him that. That is not your place to say. S sorry sir It is time. Everyone at the ready. We're gonna die. 
archers. Ready. Please, fire! Arrows! Away! Shields up. Keep them advancing. Where? Chicken feed. Man, the boys inbound. They're poisonous. Get down. Oh, quick, you're wide and it's just a little kitty cat. Sir, the monsters, they're falling in as planned. Give the signal. Tell the others to advance. You're all so different now. Get used to it. This is war. That's the signal. Move in. We're surrounding them. So, how long has this gone on for? And for what reason? They showed up 50 years ago. Destroying the lands. Started plaguing them all. Killing all of us. They won't listen to reason. They can't. They're mindless, bloodthirsty beasts. With the only town left now, full of refugees and those with nowhere else to go, we have had offers of retreat by the princess, but a lot of us couldn't. We wanted to save our land. Our? Nayers is as much my home as it is theirs. I used to want nothing more than leave as soon as I could, but, but then I... General, they're losing. Their numbers are few. It won't be long now. But we won. Finally, we've won. We've won. Strength yeah, and did. honor. Put out that fire. Oh, I can't believe it! They won! They made it! I'm so happy! I was so scared! Ha! Ha ha ha! Thank goodness! We came just in time! <laughs> I have to say, your arrival was a stroke of pure luck. We have had few true victories. Oh, it's just what I do. But there's one thing bothering me. I want to know why they've been attacking, and I think our disturbed fellow might know. What? How would he know? He mentioned darkness, and that's never a good thing. Something might have gotten in his head. He might know something. And how would you get him to talk? He's insane. You just leave that to me. He's still restrained, though it looks like as if he's calmer than before. Right. Now, what were you saying before? What's coming? What is wrong with you? What? But that's impossible. Get him out of here! Doctor? What's wrong? His pony, his biology, his insides, they're twisted! Twisted? Everything about him is warped, unnatural! This pony shouldn't even be alive! Get him out! Now! General, we found one of the missing scouts, but he's... well... I... I... I couldn't do... I finally had the courage to ask, but it, that his mind is taken. It belongs to my master now. No, 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 no! Get away! Go with it! <laughs> General, I heard the scouts report something is coming. It's, it's huge, and yeah, it's leading the largest army we've ever seen. It's coming! We're all going to die! Ah! Hold him down! Terror! 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 Ter